Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So, all my beautiful camera nerds, gear heads, and pixel peepers, let's talk about something. Something you probably didn't think you'd spend the next few minutes of your life on. Sensors. Today, we're diving into the world of Canon's shiny new toy for third-party sales. The L1 5070SA sensor. <laughs> it's a mouthful. I know, but stick with me. There's a decent amount of sarcasm and maybe a life-changing revelation. Or not. But let's get into it. So, Canon has quietly placed the L15070 SA sensor on their website. That's right, they just slid it in there like it was no big deal. No press release, no dramatic teaser, no revolutionary tech for creators tagline. Just a sensor, chilling on the internet. Here's the headline. It's a super 35 size sensor, which is like APS-C's slightly cooler, older sibling. So for those keeping score, it's got dimensions of 27.4 by 15.3 millimeters. Translation, it's pretty big for a crop sensor. And it's eyeing your cinema dreams like, hey, I'm here to shake things up. Now let's talk crop factor. The L15070SA has a 1.3 times crop. Quick math, that means it scales down Canon's full frame L15030SA sensor, which by the way, is a global shutter beast with 19 megapixels to a modest 10.5 megapixels. Coincidence? I think not. Canon basically went, let's shrink this thing down and see if people bite. Classic Canon. Here's the twist though. Full frame global shutter sensors? Well, apparently not everyone's into them. Shocking, I know. It's like saying that you don't want fries with your burger, but hey, the industry seems to prefer the smaller, more affordable Super 35 option. And honestly, I get it. You don't always need the Cadillac when the Honda Civic gets the job done. Now, before you go adding this to your cart, dreaming of DCI 4K at 60 frames per second on your next indie film, pump the brakes a bit, Turbo. Canon's track record here isn't exactly heartwarming. Most sensors that they throw out for third-party sales, yeah, they never end up in an actual Canon camera. It's like the one friend who brings cake to the party, but doesn't share. Rude. Could this make it into a cinema camera? Sure. Will it? Not likely. But here's the silver lining. The fact that Canon is putting out an APS-C global shutter sensor for external sales means that they could produce these at scale if they wanted to. Now that's a big deal. It's like they're flexing and saying, yeah, we could do it if we felt like it. So Canon, if you're watching, <laughs> and I know you're not, can we just get one of these sensors in a compact cinema camera? You know, throw us a bone here. Make it happen. Call it the, uh, the EOS everything you've ever wanted or something catchy. I'd pre-order it yesterday. So if you're into geeking out about sensors or maybe you're shopping for a sensor to throw into your next robotics project or I don't know, a spy drone, you can check out Canon's website. At the time of this video though, they haven't updated it with the L15070SA details yet. Classic Canon, playing hard to get. So there it is, a sensor that might change the world or just sit on a third party shelf forever. Either way though, it's fascinating. It's nerdy, and now you know about it. So let me know down in the comments, what would you do with a Global Shutter Super 35 sensor? Me? I'm thinking a cool horror film. Anyway, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and click the bell for future videos. Also, visit my website, jeff-gresham.com, to pick up my new Lightroom preset pack featuring 13 presets that I designed and used for all my photo projects. And until next time, get out and shoot. What are you waiting for? And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.